This is the helpful lock picker here. And the video I have for you today is a challenge lock that was sent out to me by u slash four squirrel. I just got this lock in yesterday and I'm gonna open it up out of the package and let's see what it takes to get inside it. Let's see. Oh, there's a little note in here I kinda cut off. Let me take a look at that. got two locks in here it looks like. This is the one I was expecting though. Well, let's see. Shouldn't be too hard on complicated. Thanks for trying it out. How complicated. Alright, yeah, so we're saying it shouldn't be too hard or complicated. It's glad I'm trying it out and throw in a little bonus lock for the collection. Well, thank you. I will give this one a try as well. Um, so yeah, let's see what it takes to get inside. It looks like there's no key to this kick cylinder. Um, I don't know what's inside of it, but um, it kind of looked like a quick set keyway, so I just got a random key. Just want to see if it fits. Yeah. So I might try to make a key for this afterwards. But let's see if we can get this lock open. Alright, so I just got this lock open off camera for the first time. And just because I don't have a key for this lock, I'm going to see if I can take it apart and get it decoded. Alright, I just got this lock open a moment ago off camera. So I want to see if we can get it open again. I'm going to start with bottom of the keyway tension and just try to give it a quick rake to a false set. I got a little bit of core movement there. Let's see if we can go any further. Okay. Now I'm going to use top of the keyway tension in fifty thousandths and my hook four. Click on one. Click on two, click on three, click on four. So far, um, for squirrels, made a pretty decent lock, but once we get this lock gutted, I'll show you one thing that I don't really agree with. That makes me find this lock a little unrealistic. That means um, driver pens is a pain.
getting getting there little by little, guys. Thank you for uh, staying with me here. Okay, we got that deep false set. Alright, as deep as this lock's probably gonna go. Deeper. All right, thank you for bearing with me. Now let's get this lock gutted. Um, let me just get a couple things ready for us to get this gutted here. Just gonna move a few things out of the way. So, for Squirrel, first of all, thank you. Thank you for sending this lock my way. It's been a lot of fun um, working to pick it, and it has done a good job at keeping me out. This lock probably took me about 20 minutes the first time I got it open. Um, let's get this gutted, and I just want to show you guys something in a minute, and um, I'll include another clip at the end to demonstrate further. So let's just zoom out here, keep everything in frame. Move the lock. So I took the sir clip off the back ahead of time because I didn't want to lock this up again because this doesn't have a key. So I feel like pin 4 set last. So here we are open. All right, so we're going to take the key pins out first. Let's start with key pin one. Now, after I first opened this lock, I decoded the key pins and figured out something, which I'll share with you in a second here, once we get them apart. So, the key pins on this lock are all very short, and I'll get you a better picture of them in a minute, but when I decoded them, these were the links. 0 0.118, 0 0.161, 0 0.204, 0 0.162, 0 0.232. So what that means is pin 1 is super undercut, that is way less than a 1 cut, then pin 2 is less than a 1, 3 is a little bit less than a 3, then 4 is less than a 1, and 5 is a little bit less than a 4. So all these pins are undercut and in between. And what I discovered was, is when you Put in even a key blank, pin 1 is so short that the key blank will not even push it to shear. So that means you can't even make a key for this lock. And a general rule of thumb on challenge locks is we want to have a working key. The person that's doing the lock wants to make sure that the lock is a operating lock and unfortunately on this lock it's not going to have a key that operates because it's I'll get that last spring out in a second not physically possible essentially so that was just a little disappointing thing it's my own feedback but on the core here, 
there's no threading and the plug looks pretty standard so thank you again to first squirrel for sending this my way now I want to get a nice close-up of the pinning for everyone now if we take a look here it's all standard pins for the key pins however one is very undercut then on the driver pins got these like double spools two is kind of like a spool three is like a spool with some serrations four is kind of almost a double spool five is a standard and not too much going on with the springs either way this lock was a ton of fun thank you for um, sending it my way to get it open I ended up having to use one of my deeper hooks because of how high I had to lift. Alright guys, thank you for checking this out and stay tuned for my decoding bit in just a second. Alright, so I just got this lock open off camera for the first time and just because I don't have a key for this lock, I'm gonna see if I can take it apart and get it decoded. So I'm just gonna zoom out here and we'll just gut this lock quickly. One measures 0.118, which is shorter than a one cut. So that is a less than a one cut. So they really undercut that. doesn't look like they, um, well, maybe they filed down the tip or something, I don't know. Um, 2 is a 0 0.161, which is a little bit less than a 1 cut. Three is a point two oh four. Which is sort of close to a three, but still less than a three. Which is kind of close to a one. Pin five point two three two. Which is pretty close to a four. All right, I'm gonna see if I can quickly make a key for this lock. And I just came to the determination that making a key is probably not gonna work. Um, key pin one is so undercut that even with a blank, it's not sitting, it's sitting too low. Well, it was worth a shot. All right, guys, I just finished filing a key for this lock. What I ended up doing was I took out this undercut key pin. 
and I replaced it with a Schlag Zero cut and it pretty much fits nicely. So, I took a key blank here and just filed my own key. Most of the cuts are pretty much the blank. I mean, half this key is just a key blank. You know, one and two. Three I had to cut. Four was just at the blank level. And five I had to cut. Or file, I mean. So, when I insert the key, it looked pretty much at sheer. It sticks a little bit. But let's get this lock put back together quickly and let's hope the key will in fact work. So I already got the key pins loaded up. So I'm just going to put the springs in quickly. All right, I'm nervous here for the moment of truth to see if this key is going to work or not. But we're locked up. Let's put the circlet back on, and this is all or nothing right now. Oh, the key's kind of sticking. But it works. I am not terrific at making keys, but it goes in and it comes out. What else can you ask for? All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you guys have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see me make, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.